Hey guys, my name is Clix, and today I'm going to be showing you how to composite in Cinema 4D. Let's get started. Alright, so when you're in Cinema 4D, the first thing you want to do whenever you're, whenever you know you're going to be compositing is just uh, import your picture. So, create your new material. You don't want to have any of these on here. They, I mean, they won't matter anyway, but um, for your color, all you want to do is grab your picture, and this is the picture I'm going to be using, and create your background and put it on. So as you can see, it comes up within the angle um, that we have, and no matter where we move around or rotate, it always stays against it because it's considered the background. So if we actually change the output or the aspect ratio, I know that my um, picture aspect ratio is a 16 by 9 originally, so this is what it should look like. So what I would do if um, I was using a different picture is I would put in the resolution of it up here and then it would tell me the film aspect and that is your aspect ratio and then just go in here and change it to the closest one or just make it a little bit easier to work with and then you can always uh, lock that ratio and change the pixels to make it bigger or smaller if you want to so I am actually going to output this as the video resolution that I put up to YouTube and now, of course, what you're going to want to do is get your object into the scene. So, for this tutorial, I'm just going to be using a sphere. And you always want to have a plane. Now, for a floor, this can work, but it, to me, it just makes it a lot easier to work with a plane. So, because you're not going to need, like, a whole lot of room or anything. So, I have the, um, sphere just kind of floating above the, um, above the plane here, but you can see, if I render it, it doesn't look like it's in the scene whatsoever. I mean, you can see the background, but this, the lighting's completely off. So, the main thing that really makes um, a picture look, look like it is composited correctly is the placement and lighting. That's honestly almost all of it is. So, just make sure you get your placement right. Just try to match up the plane with the... Um, with the ground in the scene, which is why I chose to use a plane, because if you use a floor, it's going to fill up the whole screen. So, I think to me that looks around the right angle, so if I just um, grab this and drag it a little bit, if I render, again, you're not going to see really any difference, but you can kind of tell that the plane is in the same angle and on the same surface as the rest of the ground. So. What you want to do is you want to take your picture that you create or that you took um, and drag it onto your plane and go to compositing as a tag and set to composite background. Now what you're going to notice is the picture isn't in the same direction. So when you go in, you click on the material itself and you go to projection, you want to change it to frontal. So now when you render, it doesn't show up whatsoever. But since it is technically there, even though it doesn't show up, you will still be able to get reflect. Um, get shadows and aim and occlusion to work on that even though it isn't actually there. So just in case we have some shadows that go on a little far, I'm just going to extend it. So what we want to do now is give our uh, sphere a texture. So let's go ahead and create a texture real quick. Here's a little hint if you want to get something that looked like um, an iced over color. If you go into the um, bump map and add a surface that is the metal and then just crank it all the way up to 100%, it'll give it this really nice um, effect. So I like where the camera is set right now, so I'm going to lock the camera so that I can... So if I'm in the camera's view, I can't move around or rotate, but if I go out of that view, I can still move around. I just want to be able to show you this texture. Um, you will see like a line sometimes, but that doesn't affect the texture at all. But as you can see, that that texture looks really nice, and we're getting a reflection from the ground. So, but you're gonna, what you're still gonna see, it is, it's not gonna look that realistic. It still doesn't look like it's there because there's no shadows. The top of it's dark. The lighting isn't correct. So, well, um, I have an outdoor scene, so it can actually work really good if you make it a sky. If you have an indoor scene, you might want to actually build, um 
a little bit of a scene behind it that is kind of based off of where you took the picture or just take another picture and make that um, like of wherever is behind you and use that as an HDR now if you go into the sky and take the same picture that you took put it on the sky and then again go to the compositing and this one you turn off scene by camera so now when we're here we're getting reflections that look more like um, the sky but they're still not perfect so since we're using a sky to light most of the scene you want to go into uh, your um, render settings effect and global illumination and since this is outside I'm going to use an exterior HDR image since that's what that is what lighting my scene is so now if we render as we can see we're getting the shadow on the ground everything is looking a lot more realistic now the reason I brought this a little bit far from the ground is so I can match the shadows from the chairs um, from the height that they are at so I think I think right there looks pretty good it's um, matching things very nice and again since sand is kind of rough as you can see the um, um, the shadows under the chairs are a little bit rough if you actually create um, actually you can just copy this one with uh, control CV or command CV um, you can add a displacement tag and um, just copy the picture and give it some displacement sometimes it doesn't work with all of um, with everything so well but it could work a little bit so if we actually just give this um, more segments so that when it, it can work with and just give it a height of I don't know 20 and we can see how that renders out as you can see it turns out a little bit bumpier this will give it a really subtle effect but it should make it look like the shadows a little bit harder and maybe even a little bit nicer so we do that and you can see it actually is showing up a lot of things a lot more but it does um, make the shadow look a lot um, more into the scene because you can see some of the footprints that were already there are actually under the sand um, or under the shadow. So that is how you can composite something in Cinema 4D. If you want another tutorial, just comment in the section below or send me a private message. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe to the video, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.